Hey y'all, we're in Townsend, Tennessee, Tennessee yeah. today and visiting different places in this quaint little town near Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg and we're right now at this railroad museum but we hope you'll join us on this trip and journey. Come along with us for this adventure. Yeah, just a small adventure. Uh, here in Townsend, Tennessee, plenty of things to do if you're in uh, Pigeon Forge. Come through Weirs Valley to Townsend and going the back way to actually Cades Cove. And just a beautiful place here. Old trains and a museum and lots of other things. A swinging bridge, mm -hmm. a covered bridge. Um, just a great place to stop over and have a good time. Townsend.com. I'm sure you can pick up the river down there. I think it may be down, still down a little bit too low. So here we are coming into Townsend. Covered bridge. Yeah. We just got into Townsend and this is um, Townsend Sunshine in memory of Jim Pond. It's a beautiful bridge here. With the river underneath. Isn't that pretty? Mm hmm Gorgeous. Some guys fishing up here. Nature must offer so many beautiful views. Look at that. Oh, the kind of forks and there's an island. Yeah, there's a fork in the river. Right there. It's not as pretty with those power lines there though, is it? Mm -hmm. That's why you can see another bridge up there. Yeah. Beautiful. On the covered bridge. Yeah. In Townsend, Tennessee. Well, that was a good stop. Yes. Here in this beautiful little covered bridge. Just as you're coming into Townsend. A lot of bicycle riders out today, motorcycle. Some fishermen back there you can see. It's the Apple Valley. General store. I wonder if they got some of that good apple butter. So uh, that was over to our right. We just passed it. Yeah. Well we need some. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need any of them. <laughs> see, there's Little River Campgrounds over here to our left. Motorsport Mammals, Wolf Creek to our left. Fish you can uh, rent a motorcycle. Ride right through Cades Cove. Although if you're planning on going to Cades Cove, it's up closed right now. When it opens back up, it probably takes a good two hours to get through there, especially if the bears are out. You get in the bear jam, you can't move forward. People just block the whole road and enjoy the bears. Get little shops and what have you down through here. Places you can pull in. Of course now they're all closed. But... All these places are saying, some of them are saying Townsend for the business name or that what you were trying to pronounce at the caverns. Tecalucci. Tecalucci. Yeah. Caverns. But there's a business back there called Tecalucci. This Lily's Cafe to the right.
moved right up here. Pretty, eh? Yes. Then. It's definitely swinging, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> People come out and put their locks on here to commemorate, I guess, their love for one another. It's beautiful both ways, stream. It's shaking. It's shaking. Shaking. How neat. You made it. <laughs> we made it over alive. <laughs> <laughs> so this is near the Wellspring Retreat. This is right up there. Mm -hmm. oh, it is pretty. And the weather is so nice out. Mm -hmm. So like almost like 70 degrees, something like that, I think. Pretty. Look how high the river was. The stuff all the way up here. Look at this. You know it? Yeah. Wow. Let's see. Oh, I'm supposed to be watching for snakes. Yes, you are. <laughs> Isn't that peaceful? Don't you just love it? river here in the mountains this makes it so much better I think you're breaking the rules it says registered guests only beyond this point you better come back this way for those of you that don't know she is a rule keeper I've been known to break a few but just for the record, it says, registered guest only be on this point. Thank you. They even nice about it. And she just blew right past it, breaking every rule that's been posted clearly. <laughs> What's it say? I was just saying that you are a rule keeper and you just are out there. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Retreat. Tell the property people. It must be the retreat that the you retreat you apologize. People, I'm sorry. If you see this video, please accept my humble apology. There you go. It was innocently done. Okay, rule There's keeper. One, look. Right here too. It says no jumping from the bridge. So rule keeper, you, you don't, don't have to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Back across, and it's shaky. What happened? Spider web or Spiders are after. Float the air. You the Yeah. So that's definitely a stop you ought to stop off at here in Townsend. Take your children across the swinging bridge. Yeah. Now I made it to the other side. <laughs> Some kind of a chapel, I bet. We'll drive over here and see. Put you up here. Yeah, it's a wedding chapel. Heartland so. Wedding Chapel. So if you're looking for a beautiful, beautiful place to get a little gazebo back there. married, this is it. That oh, is neat, so isn't it? so pretty, yeah.
smoking something over there. It's a huge smoker. Look at that thing. It's Is the railroad museum? It's closed right now. The set off house. I put this here, and you can hit the pause button and read it if you'd like. So they made these homes, have these houses, so they could move them. Kind of like a mobile home. Look at that, wow. Little River Lumber Company. Go steam. That's Dorothy, 2147. Now can you imagine how many trips Dorothy made out of the Smoky Mountains hauling lumber? How many loads of lumber did Dorothy make? It's hard to say, isn't it? Yeah, let's look right here at this Shea engine. There we go. Built in 1909. It was a special kind of locomotive specifically made to pull heavy loads up steep hills and around sharp curves and very rough tracks. It, uh, by 1965, it was being used on a scenic railroad in North Carolina as part of Source of Main Time. Maintained two other Shays. In 1982, it was returned to Townsend. And it's first item on the museum site, 2147. And over here is a log loader. Isn't that neat? Wow. And there you can read that. I've lost her. She's up there. Big water tank. This is a neat sign. Look at the sign too. Oh yeah, Little River Railroad and Tower. Lumber Company Museum. And the railroad water tank. Here's a site you wouldn't want to see back in the mountains coming towards you it looks like you can actually go up here and look inside so we'll take a step up there's some old technology but modern for its day Definitely seen its better days. Over oh, there's a portable steam engine. Yeah, these portable steam engines were used uh, back in the backwoods. I'll show you here to power um, portable sawmills. Yeah, here's the depot and post office and memory stones, bricks. And it looks like there's a little track here that there's a train running on sometimes. Look at that. Not today. It's all the way up. That would be neat to watch that, wouldn't it? Where are you at? Train Depot. This is the original Wallen Depot. And the post office. And the post office. See the pictures there. It's neat. Elkmont Post Office. Here's some little trains you can buy for kids. Yep. Can I see in there? Aren't you gonna ring the bell? It's, I think it's time to go. Ring the bell. No, it's time for dinner. Time for the train to leave, right? Yes. Some guy in there. She's still around there ringing the bell. Okay, a neat stop here in Townsend, 
Tennessee. Of course, this is the Little River Railroad Lumber Company Museum, and you can have some barbecue, which is next door while you're waiting. <laughs> 